Hey dudes, what is up? I'm going to explain how we refilled some HP M254 compatible toner cartridges and what you're essentially looking for is something that has a plug just visible like this. Now with the help of Wolfgang Amadeus, here's the quick fire bullet of how to get our refill toner in, but be aware Getting our toner in isn't the complete picture, so please watch the whole video. That said, set your very low settings to continue for both the black and colour cartridges. Then just do a lot of printing, do a lot of printing, do a lot of printing. Prints not up to scratch. Time to print the swatch, print the swatch, print the swatch, and print the swatch. Refill the fading cartridge, fading cartridge, fading cartridge, and leave the others alone. Leave the others alone. Just refill that fading cartridge. Put the rubber band on two screws out, end plate off, plug is out. James Bond's martini is shaken, not stirred. Lather, rinse, repeat until the toner's all gone. Put the plug back in, retrace your steps, put the cartridge in. Admire Prince, admire Prince, and admire the Prince, your work is done. Now click on the link top right to get this bottle of toner for yourself. Click the link appearing top right. So why should we care about reusing compatible toner cartridges? Well, they were costly to produce in terms of carbon footprint and raw materials. Maybe they were transported around the world by huge ships that burn thousands of tons of oil and the resulting plastic waste of an empty cartridge does have to be dealt with by the local environment one way or the other. In addition, they're actually much better for refilling than the HP original cartridges. As you've seen, they've got a refill plug that's reasonably easy to get to. They've got no inner toner bag, which really impedes the ease of refilling a HP cartridge and they've got bigger waste compartments. So you can get a lot more printing done on refills before you run into the kind of vertical streaks you can see here caused by waste overflow. And fear not, I will explain how to deal with waste overflow streaks later on in the video. But before even thinking about doing anything with a toner cartridge, please make sure to set your very low settings to continue like this. From home, go to Setup, System Setup, Supply Settings, Black Cartridge, Very Low Setting, and Continue, and then hop back a step and hit Color Cartridges, Very Low Setting, and continue again. And you can take another run at that to just verify that the asterisk is indeed on continue. I'm banging on about this because to get a successful refill you must not repeat, must not repeat, absolutely must not refill on top of toner which is already in the cartridge. Furthermore, having set your very low setting to continue, you now want to be ignoring, ignoring, paying no attention to all these messages you get from the machine, because if they were ever true, and that is controversial, they're certainly not going to be true now. So just print and print and print until your prints don't look right anymore. And when your prints don't look right anymore, print the swatch. I'll leave links to this all over the place. 
and the swatch by and large will tell you which cartridge is yea verily and forsooth fading out because it's got absolutely no toner left in it and the one cartridge which is fading out because it's got absolutely no tone left in it is the one cartridge that we want to be putting more toner into and only that one cartridge and none of the others or in the words of the bard himself refill ye what fadeth not and your refill hopes are down the pot so we knew from this print of the swatch that our yellow cartridge was yea verily and forsooth fading so we're going to refill the yellow the whole yellow and nothing but the yellow scientists agree polar bears have massive footprints but actually quite small carbon footprints. And another convenient truth is that refilling your own toner cartridge at least halves its carbon footprint. And that's before we even consider the scourge of plastic waste. So there's absolutely no reason to be shy about swinging over to urefilltoner.co.uk and scoring some of these bad boys. To get started, click the iLink appearing top right now. So at the same end where the plug is, we found it helpful to put a rubber band around the cartridge. We took out the two screws which are closest to each other. And with a bit of jiggery pokery, this end plate came off. And we were able to get out the plug with our bare fingers. Then, how does James Bond like his martini? All together now. Shaken, not stirred, splendid. I know it's a terrible Sean Connery. Then we married up and poured and we had to shake and pour two or three times to make sure all the toner was in. Then we're just reversing what we did. Make sure these two pieces of plastic are touching. And then this spindle is going to enter here. The two screws went back in. and the band came off. Now as far as refilling goes, our work here is done. Now I promise to spill the beans on waste overflow. So here it is. When you print, not all of the toner can be persuaded to make the jump across from the OPC drum to the paper. And that part of the toner that can't make the jump is scraped off the drum and put into a closed compartment. Eventually, that waste builds up so much that it starts to touch the drum and you start to see these streaks on the print. So the first line of defense is to tap the outside of the waste compartment like this and shake the cartridge from side to side like this to try and get the waste to even out so that none of it's protruding forward and touching the drum. And I've actually thought of a slogan, as you do, to help us remember this. Ready? Tap, shake, ameliorate tap shake ameliorate tap shake ameliorate yep yeah, pretty lame I know but you get the idea dear people the day will come when tap shake ameliorate just doesn't work anymore and when that day comes you can consider you can consider emptying out the waste some degree of mess is unavoidable when emptying the waste. But this mission 
should you choose to accept it, Ethan Hunt, can go one of two ways. Waste emptying method number one is quick and painless, but not very elegant. We got one of our copper melters and melted a hole in the waste compartment just about here. Then we took that outside and shook it energetically into a bin liner. After a good clean up we sealed the hole with duct tape. That duct tape seal is a weak link in the chain so we consciously kept an eye on this cartridge in the machine and when it showed signs of leaking we were able to seal it again by smearing bathroom sealant on. If you feel more comfortable with taking things apart and putting them back together you might prefer the following disassembly method for emptying the waste. So it's the same two screws as we saw before then at the other end, these two, both end plates off, lift and separate, the OPC drum comes out, keep that out of direct sunlight, the so-called primary charge roller comes out, then you'll see the waste and you'll see a narrow gap between two blades which together with the drum when it's there keep the waste in place and one of those blades this one is very delicate so resist the urge to vacuum it up your vacuum cleaner here we're pouring the waste out so you can see what we're talking about but you probably want to do this either in the open air upwind with a mask on or once again directly into a bin liner Excess toner has got to be cleaned off. We're brushing it off. A very slightly damp cloth also works. Then reverse all the steps. There's a key reference point here because this spring has to encircle this lug here. Once in the right orientation, those two end plates will come into position easily but honestly you have to do this a few times to get the feel of it. Then with the screws back in that cartridge was ready to take a whole lot of waste all over again. Did I mention about killing the carbon and slashing the plastic? I probably did didn't I? Click the link top right to get started with that. Here are some animals who have been evolving for 3,700 million years. Keep refilling in the free world.